All right. So today, thank you, thank you. So our topic for discussion today is unleashing the power of social proof. A roadmap to skyrocketing your business traffic. Now, it seems like a lot of grammar, but the simple thing we want to discuss today is social proof. It's a concept I want to discuss, and it simply has the capacity to skyrocket your business traffic. If you are here and you are interested in have in this topic, in social proof, helping you to you know, move your business to a level where it skyrockets, I want you to chat, uh, type in the chat box, yes. I want you to type in the chat box, yes. If you want social proof to skyrocket your business, type in the chat box, yes, as we go into the heart of today's conversation. Now, I want to look at social proof and why it matters. It's a concept, and I want us to look at it very quickly today. What is social proof? Simply put, social proof is a concept that allows people, that shows that people tend to follow the actions and decisions of others. Something that uh, we call bandwagon, or herds mentality. It just shows that when it seems that people are going in the same direction, in a particular direction, other people also tend to follow that direction. It reminds me uh, in 2000 and, that was I mean, 2002 or so. Yeah, 2002, when there was this bomb blast. This bomb blast thing, <laughs> you know, there was a bomb blast and everybody was moving towards a particular direction and people moved to the canal to go and die. And people saw people moving in that direction and they kept moving and they moved to their death. It shows you the power of social proof. It means that social proof can be used for good and it can also lead to harm. To say that there's a concept that shows that people tend to follow the actions and, and decisions of others. Sometimes people don't even rationalize it. They don't think about it. They just say, hey, everybody's doing it. Hey, everybody's doing it, then it must be good then they follow it. That is social proof. Now, think about it. Think about people, think about the concept of social proof applied to your business. When it's applied to business, social proof means that if others are showing interest in a product, if they're using a product or a service, it's more likely to attract new customers. Now, I want you to listen to me and listen to me good because this concept is very, very important. Okay, if people are showing interest in a particular product, other people will want to follow, uh, follow up with it because it shows that it must be really good. Now, also talking about social proof, it helps you to drive traffic to your business by showing potential customers that many people are already engaging with your business. People are already using your products. So they will say, ah, people are using it, eh, then it must be good now. You know, so it helps to drive traffic. It helps. That's why it really, really, the concept of the fact that the rich are getting richer is so true and so powerful, you know. And uh, even the Bible says that he that has, he that has, more will be given to him. And if, if that does not have, even that which he has will be taken away from him. Uh -huh. so, we, so those that have will have more, yeah? So, and also the concept of social proof says that, you know, this idea that we're talking about can lead to more people wanting to check out your business. When it seems that ah, everybody's looking at your business or your product, ah, I'm getting a reader, I don't say it's so wrong, but what is this reader? Everybody's just talking about reader, reader, reader. You know, people want to know more about the business. They want to check out the business, leading to increased traffic and potential sales. Now, if you listen to what I say, you will know that every business needs social proof. You need, and that's why people, sometimes they buy accounts they buy instagram accounts buy this thing accounts they buy likes buy followers buy they buy followers for because of social proof they buy followers so that they say ah, how many followers do you have you say, ah, he has he has a hundred thousand followers ah, so, eh, he has one million followers 2.4 million followers okay because of the concept of social proof now the question today which i want us to spend a a couple of minutes on is how can I use social proof to grow my business? And I want you to listen very listen and listen good. How can you use social proof to grow your business? Number one, customer reviews and testimonials. Customer reviews and testimonials. If you have been in the Green Mondays, you will know that testimonies, feedback is very vital and crucial to us in a business like this. In a business that has to do with health, 
people moving from ill health to, to getting their health back, people having infertility and having babies, you will know that customer reviews and testimonials are very important in a business like this. What should you do? How do you use testimonials and customer reviews for your business? Take snapshots from your existing customers. And that's what we tell people here. For people who use your products, follow up with them and find out how did they find the product? How's the product? Yeah? And when they give you feedback, take screenshots of it, just block out their names and use it to say, oh, wow, this, this just came in from US. This uh, testimony just came in from Abel Kuta. Phenomenal. This just came in from Uyo. This is very, very powerful in letting people who are just watching to know that ah, things are happening in this business. So take snapshots from your existing customers, one. Two, use feedback from the testimony groups as well as from other distributors. We have testimony groups where people share testimonies about the use of the product. We have uh, distributors share. In a meeting like this, I remember last week when we were in a meeting like this, some people shared some testimony. I quickly did some screenshots of it and saved it on my phone. Okay, I used them yesterday or day before yesterday. So you're having meetings like this. You're not going to let testimonies go to waste. You're not going to let feedback that people share go to waste. You're going to crop them, save them, and use them to drive the principle of social proof to your business. Secondly, influencer endorsements. Okay, influencer endorsements. And who are influencers? Influencers are like experts. They are popular people whose followership is high, who are authorities in particular fields, and what they say will drive a lot of trust. What they say will drive a lot of trust, and so people tend to believe and follow what they say. Okay, so content shared from experts, for example, in a, in a business like ours, content shared from experts in the medical field or the medical team, influencers and well-known people in the industry. There are a few people in the course of doing the business, I've, I stumbled on them online. I discovered that they talk a lot about health, natural health. They talk about herbs, you know, so I follow them. I follow them and I use the content that they share to reinforce that, yeah, can you see this guy that has a million followers? He's talking about this. We're in the right place. This is something that is really uh, amazing that you need to pay attention to. So there are recordings, there are videos, there's content from people in the industry. There are people that are well-known uh, and influencers, experts, whose content we can use to give kudos to social proof. Followers are more likely to trust, and that's the truth. That's what uh, people are following when, when there's this concept of influencers. People are more likely to trust and consider your offerings leading to increased interest and traffic to your business through influencer endorsements. You know, earlier today, I was just watching a guy who was speaking against celebrities and the fact that they're using their numbers to take advantage of people. Two of them, there were two celebrities that showed their video. One of them said he was promoting a betting site and said, ah, this thing, oh, sure, this thing is so sure, it's so powerful, you so this thing. In two days, I made seven million. We know saying a lie. So this guy was talking again, he said, okay, Influencers, don't lie to your people. And for influence, for influencing, it's trust that is the currency. But the truth is that people follow uh, influencers, public figures, experts, because uh, they trust them. So you want to be able to use the concept of influencers when you, when you see people who are influencers, who are trustworthy and who are giving extra credence to your business and your products. Another one is user-generated content. User-generated content, for example, sometimes you find people who are using the products, maybe somebody's just drinking Rida, or somebody is uh, using the palm, or and the person writes it there, ah, that was having a headache, and you know, see me, I'm using this balm now, I know that in five minutes, it's gonna clear off. Okay, for example here, you can see this, this slide here. This person here is, maybe he's wearing um, sunglasses, and he said, I'm going out, I'm rocking, so, 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 and I'm going out. This, this is a content that one can use. So videos, photos of people using the products. It not only shows that your products are being used by everyday people in real life scenarios, but also demonstrate that other people find value in what you have to offer. So user-generated content is like third party, where it gives extra credence to what you're doing. So that's the user-generated content. 
Then we have social media engagement. You know, this is this is important. It's important in the sense that high engagement, when people like your post, when people uh share comments, when they uh when they comment, when they share, can indicate to potential customers that ah, your business is active. Um and it's popular and it's worth exploring further. This is really, really important. And you know, the good thing about it is that it's not just in this business, even the company has a has social media handles. So you can share some of those social media posts, you can like, you can engage, you can all of that, so that it will show, you know, that the business is active and people can say, ah, okay, this thing, let me come and look at it. I think it's really. Uh, I think it's really moving. I want to be able to pay attention to it. If you are doing it the proper way, of course, it will take some time for it to build. But in time, people will see that actively a lot is happening uh, in your business. Okay. Another one is press mentions. Press mentions. Being featured in reputable media outlets or industry publications lends credibility to your business and can attract new customers who discover your business through these mentions. Of course, recently we had the launch of, of Reader Restore for Women and we had like five different newspapers covering. I hope you have access to the link. If you don't have access to the link, it can be made available in the group so that you can share it on your pages. I've also shared some on my LinkedIn, uh, on my Instagram, I think Facebook. Okay, you can say, ah, Punch, Punch talked about the Reader Restore for Women. It's really, really making the waves. Uh, and people are really, you know, people are really uh, going for reader resource for women is changing women's health and life for good. Okay. And then sometime last year, we had a social impact project, which was also covered in the newspapers. These are things that we can use to say, ah, the business is really, really, things are really happening. Uh, and, it, you know, it's really something that. You should take advantage of okay we don't have the link i think it can be shared in the group i'll get i read for it to be shared punch covered it this day vanguard you know and this last week we spoke with pharma news uh to also have it covered so um these are things that you can use so that people see that oh a lot is happening you know things are happening in the business and stuff like that okay then another thing you can use is numbers and statistics this one is very catchy and people use it uh, and if you are doing correct business, you want to also use it so that they will not feel that not only you work at home. You use numbers and statistics to give strength and credence to your business. Okay, for example, saying about 200 babies um, have been had from people using the radar products from infertility cases. People are like, wow. You know, sometimes you engage people and say, ah, does this thing really work? When they say, does this thing really work? You just simply say, over 150 people, almost 200 people, as at the last count, uh, babies have had babies from this. And I, I know that yours will not be an exception. You know, so people say, hey, it's true. If it be me, that's what people that do, kalu, kalu, do. But once you know that you have clear value you're offering, you can use numbers and statistics to your advantage. Okay. For example, I was speaking with somebody in the US, I think about four days ago. And we're talking, I said, spoke about the fact that uh, we have users of the products just by word of mouth advertising in about 20 countries in the world. And the next thing she said was like, wow, you know, when you use data, you use statistics, people take you seriously. Like, uh, you guys are not playing, you know, and, and it's really, really, really uh, very important. Use numbers, use statistics to get, um, to get people to see the value of what you're doing. Please, can a man take part in this program? Or is, no, it's not for women alone. It's for everybody. It's for men and women. It's for men and women. And yeah, this is another statistic that many people may not have um, data for, and which is the fact that for about 400,000 bottles of reader beaters have been sold already in the past uh, three years going to four. And as reader bitters, we also have all the other products. We have the variants, we have, so on the bitters alone, how much more? So why do we have 400,000 in the past three years plus going to four? And that's for bitters alone. We have fat burner, we have cleanser, we have restore, we have fire for men, we have bam, we have, ah, uh ah. -uh. That is a case of one in one whammy, one in one whammy. In fact, one in one whammy, I'm in San Francisco, Germany. Users in about 20 countries of the world, they know that they are not here to play. So use your numbers, and statistics uh, to drive social proof. 
Another one which we use a lot is trust badges and certifications. This is so important. We use this, of course, because it's a health product, but we need to use it more and flaunt it more. Okay, trust badges and certifications. So we have NAVDAC approved, FDA approved, ISO certified, HALAL certified, preclinical trials done, clinical trials done. All of those things show that you did not come to play. Okay, this should need to be used to drive social proof. As you're telling people this, they will say, oh, wow, wow. I remember currently yesterday I was on social media and then, ah, I heard something that I was like, oh my God, there's this lady or this company that does uh, skincare products. As in, they must have made money, serious money in the past, God knows how many years. And then they use heavy influencer marketing. They use influencers stop influencers to drive the product, blah, blah, blah. You know, they now discovered this last week that the, the, the NAVDAC number they are using is fake. Guys, can you imagine? Fake NAVDAC number. I'm like, I don't understand. Fake NAVDAC number and they've been making money using the influencers doing this and that. Somebody went to go and drag them and then NAVDAC went to go and seal their office. Today, I was watching the way she was responding. The person that caught her you know, say, ah, somebody use uh, some people use the products and it was affecting them negatively. And people were saying, ah, this influencer, see, that's what I was saying about influencers. I said, these influencers, they are not using the product, so they just want to collect money and say, oh, yeah, you people should use the product. Say, not lie, they are not using it. So trust is important. Uh, all this value is also very, very important for people, for people to use. So this is really important. Okay, so trust badges and certifications are very, very important. Also, another one you can use personally, you know, for your customers and all that is limited time offers. Okay, doing personal promos for your customers and team-oriented promos for your team. Okay, having limited time offers, you know, make people make up their mind. You know, some people have been seeing, oh, they have been seeing that this reader, this madam has been talking about reader, has been talking about this business and all that, but they've not been able to bring themselves to make that move. When you do a promo and say this closes in 24 hours, people that have been doing slow motion before, they will move and say, ah, let me take advantage of this and all of that. So personal promos drive to Jack proof. And when you do this, say, ah, it's closing so so time. It's ah, they are really rushing this madam and this business that she's doing. Okay, and team oriented promos as well for your team members. You do promos, it makes them know that ah, you know, stuff is happening and you want to encourage some people and they don't want to be left out. People don't want to be left out. That's really what social proof is all about. They feel that people are going in this direction and I don't want to be left out. Okay, that's really what social proof is really all about. If you have gotten value from what I shared about social proof, I want you to type in the chat box. One thing that you will begin to do uh, from the things that I've said. One thing, it may be more than one, but at least give me one thing that you begin to do more deliberately to drive traffic to your business. One of those things that I've shared that you're going to be uh, using to drive traffic to your business. Okay, I wait for us to do that. As I go into talking about the opportunity that gives us this platform to be able to share the trainings, to be able to learn, and it's called the Green Mondays. The Green Mondays is really all about creating wealth and wellness partners globally. Okay, so Christina has said she's going to be using numbers a lot more. Numbers are so powerful. Numbers are so powerful. They know that you are not even playing. Yeah, so listening out the numbers and statistics is really so powerful. Because if you just come cap in hand like, ah, no, you know, they know that it's, like, it's not only you. When you come and you use those numbers, they know that, oh, wow, there's a force behind this. And, you know, better use it to your, your advantage. So we have people who have said they're going to be using numbers and statistics. Wait for other people to also comment on what they will begin to do. Uh, as we go into uh, the second part of this conversation.